Hikaru Emulation recently got a major update, and it's literally a million times better, thanks to someone picking up the mantle with the good old Demol emulator. Now Demol back in the day did run Hikaru, just not very well, and after building on that original work, the dev has got all six games working front to back. Now it's still early days for the emulation and it's not quite 100%, so don't expect an audio or a graphical glitch in some minor places, but it's nothing that's a deal breaker. And also for the moment, you can only use the original resolution with no option to upscale. But all this stuff is only gonna get better as development continues. Now for the moment, the emulator is only available on the Demol Discord, and unfortunately, I can't seem to generate an invite for it. So give it a Google, find a Discord, join it, and download the emulator from the pinned comments. In terms of raw setup for the emulator, it couldn't be easier. Just put your BIOSes and your ROMs inside the ROMs folder, start the emulator, and run a game. It's literally that easy. The only two settings except for controls that you want to mess with is either VSync or full screen. You don't want to touch anything else. Now, even though the initial setup is easy, Demol is a complete pain in the ass, especially with arcade games when it comes to setting controls. Natively, Demol does not support per game control configs, and all of these arcade games require a bespoke configuration for optimum button layout. And if you want to change a game, you're going to have to rebind all of those controls for that specific game or just make a universal one that only works okay-ish with all of them. So to fix this, I've gone ahead and made some per game any files anyway, with all of the correct control set, along with some batch files, essentially forcing per game configuration into Demol. So when you launch a game with one of these batch files, it will also launch it with its corresponding any file, guaranteeing the controls are always gonna be correct. So all you need to do is grab the download from this GitHub page. I'll put a link for it in the description below and make sure that you unzip it like I've already done. And with the bat launchers and controls folders that are inside, you just want to move them into the root of your Demol install. And make sure that you're always running these games with the bat launchers and not with the UI. Because if you use the UI, the per game configurations are not going to be used. So just double click on one of these instead to actually run the game with that configuration. As a bonus, I've also provided some button layout images so you know what all of the controls are. And again, these will be available on that GitHub page. Do keep in mind this has been pre-configured for X input controllers only because X input is universal. D input, unfortunately, especially with Demol, is not universal at all. So I can't really provide anything for it. But you can try to use something like DS4 Windows or its alternatives to spoof your D input controller into thinking it's an X input controller. If that doesn't work for you, beyond that, you'll need to set it up yourself. And if you're in that situation, just refer to the documentation that I'll put a link for in the description below. Now, because the emulation is pretty straightforward, with the exception of controls, that's pretty much everything that we can do. Unless the emulator comes out with a new feature we can play around with in the future. And if that happens, I'll be definitely letting you know and updating this. So slam the video a like if it actually helped you out. Let me know in the comments if you're having any issues. And if you want to keep up to date, you know what to do. And apart from that, go play some games. Adios.